Hi dear viewers, youtubers and worms! This time maybe bookworms! Welcome to my channel Me and Places. This video is gonna be a tiny bit about me, a little bit about places, a little bit about people and a lot about books. Today I will tell you about books that travel to my place from different countries. I have a bunch of them here, as you can see. So I will just take randomly one book from here and tell you about the story behind this book, how it ended up here and what I think about it. And first one apparently is A Little Prince. I'm not a fan of this book. It's just its idea is not close to my heart. But throughout the years I read it multiple times on different languages and actually I learned to like some things about it. The idea is still not the best, but I like the allegories that you meet on your way while you are reading it. This one has really cool pictures and I bought this one in Malaga, in Spain. It was in the only shop I found that was selling books in English and there was not still a big selection. I was spending a long time in Spain and I really missed some read, so I ended up with this. Next one, let's see what's this, Kurt Vonnegut? Vonnegut, sounds German, but actually he's American. And he wrote this book called Cat's Cradle. I got this book from Slovenia. Actually, I don't know if it was bought in Slovenia, but I got it from my friend who lives in Slovenia. Hi there, by the way, thank you so much for this one. I hope you're doing well at the moment. This is a hilarious book. I mean, it has a lot of kind of witty humor, black humor, which I love. And I must say, I usually read not happy books. And this one is something I would never pick myself. Therefore, I'm even more happy I actually read it in the end. It's awesome. This guy also wrote some plays and you can catch this sense of play in the way people are interacting with each other, but this is just a small detail I noticed. This is a science fiction and once again it's hilarious. Oh, this is the best! Oh my god, I got this from Dublin. Actually, I got six books from Dublin, but the one I'm presenting you today is Shirley Jackson's We Have Always Lived in a Castle. Ooh. I love Shirley, I mean, I'm a huge fan, and if you like horror, mystery and all that stuff, you should be a fan also. She has an amazing writing skill. Even in moments when nothing by fact scary is happening, you just feel something is wrong. And this is one of those books. They made a movie based on this book not so long time ago, I saw it and the cast was amazing in my opinion, but... So it was a little bit disappointing. If you read this, I have one question. In which point did you realize who was the murderer? I wish I had more of her books. I just have three and two of them are actually the same book on different language. I want more. More. Okay, next one. Oh, this is a stressful book, guys. Too much, too soon. Early learning and the erosion of childhood. Very tough matters. And this one is also in English. I think all books I'm showing you today are in English. Besides one art book. Uh, this one I bought, guess where? In Tallinn. The old town of Tallinn. I have a favorite place there, which is like... I don't know how you call it. Is it a second hand or a cafe? Probably both, because you can have a coffee there and you can buy used books or LPs. And it's a really cute place. I don't remember the name. I know how to find it. So if I make a video about Tallinn, I will tell you about it. So this was a book that caught my attention because, oh come on, look how stressed this child is. I just had to find out what's going on. This is not a happy book. I'll just read you the first sentence from here. Britain's children are amongst the unhappiest in Europe. So all book is about how poor the education system is. You see, I work with kids. I take part in Finnish educational system and I'm very interested in other systems as well. 
at least to develop my own skills. This book is mostly about how the education is pushed too hard, too early and the bad impact of that. I think it will not be interesting for those who are not in education field, but I'm very happy if I'm wrong, because this actually gives you some new sight and raises many useful questions that I think we need to discuss on a more global level. Next book. Ah, this is a happy one. Be a Flamingo by Sarah Ford. I think she has like a series of this book. Okay, I got this again from my another friend. Hi, darling. Actually, I don't know if this book is also from Dublin. I believe it is, because at least when I got it from my friend, he was living in Dublin, so I believe it is. And I got this because this is actually about me. I am Paulina, but I'm also Flam. My writing name is Paulina Flam. My email is Paulina Flam. And Flam actually comes from Flamingo. Uh, it's my nickname that I got in high school and it just stayed with me. So far, so long that most of my closest friends actually call me Flam. And I have no problem with that, actually. By the way, I even wanted to change my surname to Flam because it's just so natural to me now. But guess what? There are two people in Finland who actually came up with this surname and now they have it. And I cannot have it because I'm not part of their family. Dear Flam family, if you're watching me, please adopt me. Anyway, this is an awesome book. Be fabulous, be bright, be unique. It's a very positive one. And it has different kind of statements about Flamingo's life. For example, let me read you one. There are crabs and one is holding a sign saying save the shrimp. Another one is holding a sign no flamingos. That bastard! And it's saying it was a difficult situation, but Flamingo faced up to it with his shoulders back and his head high. It's awesome! It's really fun, it's positive, and if it links to you in any way, this is a really cool present to have, so thank you, dear. This one. Arrived to me straight from Poland, from my friend. Hi there! Thank you so much for this one. This is a good read. And this is by Ryszard Kapuszczynski. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And it's called Another Day of Life. And this is actually not a fiction. Richard was a Polish journalist who spent his time in Angola, in the capital of Angola, Luanda. I knew it, I just forgot it. In the capital of Angola, in the time of Angolan civil war. So this is his observations in Luanda about how, basically how the city degrades during the war. And because of that, it's a very realistic one, of course. It actually brings you into the story and you're living it through his eyes. And because it's war, of course, it's quite a tough one. You can see I had times with this one. <laughs> it traveled with me to work and back for a few days in a row. It's quite a small one and it's a good read. And thank you again for this one. Actually, I must say that these two are something I would never pick myself for a read. Just because I'm very picky, I usually pick the authors I already know, which is a minus. And because of my dearest friends, I actually got this. And I'm so glad I did, thank you. And the last one... Da, 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 da. This is an art book. I have a lot of art books, but this one is the one I got from my trip to Oulu. I believe, yeah, Oulu Museum. This is from Museum of Oulu. Oulu is a city in Finland, it's up north from Helsinki and this is, as you can see, by Petri Uriola. Lupaus huomisesta. Promise of the future. Uh, it has this kind of gloomy doom metal artworks, as I call them. Um, they are linked to nature, which I love about them. In the beginning of the book they discuss it and they say that his works are mostly about melancholy. Honestly, I don't see it as melancholy. I see it more like a lonely moment when you are in a nature, just you and nobody else. Oh, look at this tree, it's beautiful. So I just like to watch these paintings from time to time and the best thing I like about them are the roots. Look at these and more. 
they're like really cool anyway these were my international books that i keep on my bookshelf and i'm so glad i have books that have more story than other books because they traveled here from somewhere do you bring ever books as a souvenir from somewhere or maybe you got them from some friends of yours from other countries tell me about that and also if you read any of the books i was telling about also write in the comments what did you like or dislike about them thank you so much for watching and stay curious bye for now it's like a horror book look i wonder whose painting is that there is a girl here she has a bird is she kicking a bird oh no she's like trying to pet it why would anyone pet a bird you can see she's distressed also. You don't pet a bird when you are not in distress. This really lacks some positive pictures, I must say. This E, it's E in many languages. Why there is this thing on N? What is this? Where do I have it? Hmm. <laughs> to be kind, Flamingo sometimes pretended to be interested. Oh. Oh, Dama Shirley is so talented. Was so talented. People like her just should never die and write endlessly.